going back to Arsenal, Gabs, um, you're not happy. Yeah, I just don't understand the, the team that you played today. Let's be honest, Arsenal fans will agree. Havertz, it's not working. You're playing Thomas Party right back to try and fit in certain players. Stop playing Thomas Party right back. Play him as a centre mid. Give Declan Rice the authority to make um, runs forward more oh, with Odegaard. Mm -hmm. Play Niketia. You had two strikes on the bench today. Disrespecting Fulham. Maybe thought it would be an easy game. I just don't understand it. There was an incident in the 55th minute where the ball was played into Havertz. He's got to turn and run with it. Pass it straight to the Fulham team. He's not comfortable at mm. the moment. Yes, he's a, he's a decent player, Jamie, but it's not working at the moment. Stop forcing it and play your proper side. All right. Uh, Arsenal fans want to hear from you. Let's go to Terry. He is an Arsenal fan. Terry. Good evening, Terry. How are you guys? Are you all right? Yeah, good. Tell uh, what, what do you make of that performance today? It's, it's pathetic. It's, I'm, I'm actually furious. I think what, what, what frustrates me the most, right, is that if, if you did this during pre-season, then I could understand that you're trying something. But for you to think it's acceptable to do it on the first game of the season, then the second and then the third, this experiment, Thomas Partey at right back is wasted. Last season, we have got second in the league, right, by playing Partey, Xhaka and Odegaard. You've broken that up by getting rid of Xhaka, moving Thomas Partey to right back, and you've put Declan Rice there, and now you've put Kai Havertz that's played for Chelsea for however long, and he's never played centre midfield for, I can't even tell you how long he's not played there. Why would you try that? Mm -hmm. Why, why would you do that? It makes no sense. And then when you take into consideration, right, what worked for us, right, was Ben Wright playing right back along, along with, with Saka? Why would you remove that? Why would you remove Gabby and Saliba, an actual duo for the longest time that we've had, that actually looked like we had some stability? It's just, it makes no sense. Even the players don't look like it. And the last thing I'm going to say, it just, do you know what it feels like, right? And I'm, I'm really sorry, but I'm really passionate about it. It feels like with the players, right, throughout the whole of pre-season, it feels like... You're, you're doing an English exam and they say for the whole year we're going to be studying Macbeth. And then all of a sudden, you turn the test paper over and it's a fellow. And you're like, what the hell? Like, mm -hmm. we've been studying Macbeth for the whole preseason, and now you're going to tell me about a fellow or Romeo and Juliet? What's this guy shouting at the window for? It makes no sense. <laughs> mate, Terry, you're spot on though, mate. And I've just said exactly the same. Play your proper back four. Sinchenko's fit. Start him. Why are you not playing the Ketia? He comes on. What does he do? He scores, he's in the right position, the striker instinct. Trossard gets dragged at half-time before Havertz. Stop yeah, forcing you, it. Do you think he's trying, to, he's trying to justify the fact that he's paid exactly. £60 million pound for Havertz? He knows people are going to be on him straight away and he wants to get him in the team and hopefully get it to make it work. Well, but Pep, it's Pep, cost him today. Jamie, Pep wouldn't. Pep doesn't care if he's signing for £200 million. Pound. He's playing the team that he thinks is going to get the result. Are you come and sit next to me if it's not working. Havertz might turn out to be a good signing for Arsenal. At the moment, it's not working. You've got Smith Rowe, can't get a kick. You know, like, I don't think he's good enough yeah, to play for he's, Arsenal. He's a good player, Jamie. But yeah, but he's not good enough to play in this I team that are going to try and win the league. But I think he's better than Havertz at the moment. What Havertz is showing. He yeah, looks okay. lost in that team, mate. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I've been saying it. I was a strange, strange sign, and you're trying to justify it, and you're taking your best players out of the best positions to fit him in. It's ridiculous But not, not every centre midfielder can play right back. Stop. Stop, like Gary, Gary Neville said it, stop trying to just copy the Pep way. Not every centre midfielder can play right back. Thomas Partey looks lost there. Play Ben White there. Play to Thomas Partey as a sitter and say, you don't move from there. Declan Rice and Odegaard, go and have some fun. Go and score some goals, get assists. 